is the order of the day, or at least the side order. Bacon's popularity actually goes back centuries, when people cured and smoked it in their own homes. But today, you simply have to go to the store and bring home the bacon. Bacon is now processed and even pre-cooked in factories, where things move along crisply. They start with a load of pork bellies. They toss them around in a big tumbler, and the action softens them, so it will be easier to remove the skins. They place each pork belly skin side down on a conveyor belt. The conveyor takes the pork bellies to a long automated blade which slices the skin away from the meat. The skins drop onto another conveyor belt. They're on their way to being processed into pork rinds, a snack food. Meanwhile, the meat pieces head in another direction, towards a flipping device. It turns them back side up, so workers down the line can trim off any remaining pieces of skin. Next, they make a brine solution to cure the pork. This involves funneling salt into a tank of water and mixing it thoroughly to dissolve the salt particles. They add liquid smoke and other flavorings to the curing solution. The pork bellies now pass under an injector head. It's equipped with numerous needles that repeatedly inject the curing solution into each pork belly. They press the prongs of a metal hanger called a comb into the pork bellies and hang them on a rack. Then it's into the drench cabinet for a shower in liquid smoke. As liquid smoke bombards the meat, it adds flavor and color to the surface. They transfer the pork bellies into a big oven. They spend about five hours in here cooking at a low temperature, which allows the flavoring to permeate the meat. Now it's into a blast freezer for a quick chill down, then into another cooler for a couple of days. The cooling firms the meat, which makes it easier to slice. The pork bellies head to a sizing station, where knives trim all sides. They also pass under a metal detector here, to confirm that pieces of the metal hanger haven't become lodged in the meat. After that, they stack and wrap the pork bellies and store them in a freezer until they're ready to slice them into bacon. This is called the slice line. Here, they load the meat slabs into chutes. The chutes sway back and forth over a blade to slice the meat into bacon-sized pieces. The bacon falls neatly onto a conveyor belt. Another conveyor belt rolls over the bacon slices to secure them while they cook in a very long microwave. As the fat cooks off the bacon, it drains into a trough. It will be used to make gravy and pet foods. The cooked bacon now exits the microwave oven and comes under the watchful eye of the inspector. She discards slices that are broken or not up to par. These wheels then roll the browned bacon slices onto parchment paper. A tiny electronic eye keeps track of the numbers. Finally, they stack the bacon for packaging. 